right, fellas, unless you're brand new here, you know that I love me some red dots on my pistols. I'm not joking, 95% of my pistols will have dots on them because I just love them. But a lot of questions that newbies have is, shoot, what if the batteries die? What if the glass breaks? What if the dot fails? We're gonna go over some of those tips, at least for defensive shooting, so you know you can still save your life with or even if your red dot fails. This is the Fox Army FXA12 Pro, and we'll have a link for it later on a promo code because uh, it, it, it's pretty impressive for the price. But the sponsor for today's video is Olight because they have their Balder S and their Odin Mini on flash sale. This will be a Christmas sale for them 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 11th until the 15th. 40% off this bundle. So that's pretty cool because this Balder S just attaches right to your weapon. If you have a Picatinny rail or Glock rail, 800 lumens along with a green aiming laser, ambidextrous paddles, so momentary or constant on, and the USB recharging is pretty stinking cool as well. And then the Odin Mini, 1250 lumens and a 240 meter throw. You have a push to lock magnetic remote switch, so it just clips into your M lock mount right here. And best of all, both these lights have a lifetime warranty, so click the link down below to take advantage of that 40% off sale. We thank Olight for sponsoring this video. Now let's shut up and shoot. So here's our baseline. We're about five yards. Let's see what we got. All right, that was four rounds in the same hole. So that's pretty stinking good, right? That's a good start. But what if it fails? The best way to simulate that is to go ahead and tape it up. And the first one we're gonna teach is the first one that I learned called the guillotine method. So we're gonna take the top frame of that red dot and we're going to cut it that A zone in half just like, like there is a line drawn on top of it, which is actually a really good idea. I know some guys, they do a white paint line. That's really smart, really. So you can have sort of a iron sight backup. So we're gonna just take this and cut it right across at five yards. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I was about two inches higher, but my group was about just a little bit bigger and that's with no dot. And so another method is a glass method. We're gonna pretend we're just still looking through that glass, but there's no dot there, but we can't look through it. And we'll talk about that more later with both eyes open. So I'm gonna punch it out there just like I always would do. And I shot the same group I did before <laughs> because it's still, it's in the same holes as earlier. So that may be my preferred method. The final one is not quite my preferred method, but I'll need a little training aid here. And that's called the backplate method. So pretend that you can see through this backplate. Pretend like when you're cleaning your, your pistol, you know how there's an open bore barrel there with your mind. Just imagine that you're looking straight through. This isn't my favorite because my grip changes so much because with the window sight method, I can just use my regular. With my guillotine method, I just drop it a little bit. With the backplate method, I actually have to lift my grip up to visualize going straight through that. Let's see how it looks for us. I'm gonna look straight through. Well, Dad gum, it's in the same group. <laughs> so we're doing okay with any one of those methods. But same thing as any defensive situation, you wanna train, train that ahead of time so that you know what you like. And if your red dot fails on a course, close quarters defensive distance, it really doesn't matter because you know how it works. Now the key to making this all work well for you though, is to know how to use that red dot in the first place and where it should be. Because uh, a lot of newbies come up there and they're like, where's the dot in the first place? They have trouble finding it. They don't have that muscle memory and it's hard for them to find it and pull it in. What we always see at Marksman Camp is they find that front sight because they're used to finding that front sight. The front sight's in the glass window and of course that means they're aiming too high. So when you punch out there and you see that front sight, you are aiming too high and need to go lower. Tighten your grip take that pinky and try to draw it into your thumb back in the back here with that support hand and just, just crush it down more. When you crush that grip in more, your drop should drop down from 12 o'clock. So that's step one is just being able to point your pistol right, but then practice that a lot. I have to do this every time I change a gun because grips are different angles. So when I change to a different gun, I'm gonna start a low ready and punch out and punch out until my, my hands know what they should be doing so that when I punch out, the red dot is in the center of the glass. And so that will help you do point shooting as well to make sure that it's there in the first place. So on equipment today, what I'm running, I pulled this A-Rex Delta X out of the safe. Go check out the earlier video, but I've been impressed with it. I always run with the works holsters, especially with weapon lights because they make them that compatible and dedicated for it. 
And then the optics. This is the Fox Army Optics FXA12 Pro. We'll have a link to Amazon for you can check it out and a 10% off discount code, which makes it super cheap. But it's an RMR mount, so we just slap it on there. It's got a multi reticle function, so the same like EOTech Donut of Death 32 MOA circle with the dot, or you, you just push both buttons together, we get an empty circle, which I like for precision because you can see exactly where you're going to hit. Hit them again, you can just get a red dot. Uh, you do have the Shake Awake, 50,000 hours, but here's what I really thought was cool about this, and some others might do this, but this did it really easy. When we just hold down the minus button, we go to a lockout mode. So whatever site, uh, uh, brightness we put it on, it will lock that in. Even on Shake Awake, it goes to that same brightness again, and if we bump the buttons, it doesn't matter. It's going to still be good to go, which I bump buttons a lot, and so I like that. It just does a single blink, and then we're good to go. So you can get this for, with the 10% code, it rang out at 129 bucks. So the code is weird, so we'll just put it down below. You can check out that Amazon list. And now let's go through one more scenario with a red dot failure. This is why I love these Infinity Targets. Brand new and ready to go again. This is the most realistic to me. We're gonna tape up the front of our optic. So I can still see a dot. So it doesn't matter, as long as my brain picks up the dot in one of the eyes, my brain knows the image overlay with both eyes. And so we'll demonstrate that just on this close ID target as far at first. So I can't see out. And the reason this matters to me the most is because when I shoot suppressed, you get a lot of blowback through that barrel and it fouls up the front of this lens. So we can still see our dot, but we can't see the target unless we use our other eye. And so our one eye picks, my, my left eye in my case, picks up the target, right eye sees the dot, it puts them together and it's it, it becomes supernatural. <laughs> Not like a miracle, but it's it's very natural to do. <laughs> All right, it's dead center. Okay, and that's just speed shooting, and I cannot see anything through here. I'll make sure y'all can kind of, I'm going to raise the brightness to make sure the aim cam can see. We'll do it again at the head, and put that dot there. Okay, so, so nothing to it. All, all hits are on paper, but we're going to go further. At 50 yards, we have that MGM silhouette target. I am still taped up, cannot see uh, anything but the dot with my right eye, but I'm just going to... And here's the best way it was uh, explained to me. Burn a hole through that target with your vision. So you're going to focus on that target, but just put this pistol in the way with that dot in the way. Your eyes will overlay it. So we're going to go up here. I'm burning a hole in that target with my vision. It looks like my gun's hitting a little high, but that's a good group at 50 yards. So I guess I may aim belly button when we go a little further. 75 to 80 yards downrange, we have another target. We're gonna see what this, uh, it works, same thing. Just putting that dot on that target and looking through it. think there to the top right uh, or its top left shoulder we hit a little bit to the top right but without being able to even use my window that site overlay works so hopefully that's some cool pointers for you guys hit the range with it be safe train and then you'll know man I, I can use a red dot because I love my red dots, guys. I'm more precise, I'm faster, but uh, now you can have confidence even if you have some sort of failure. If you wanna get started in the red dots, this Fox Army one is a great one to start with just like, what, 129 bucks? Pretty stinking cheap. Also check out that Olight sale while you can. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you, bye-bye.